Welcome, distinguished guests, City of Nome Mayor and Representatives in the Alaska District to the ceremonial signing of the Port of Nome Modifications Project Partnership Agreement, also known as this PPA. I'd like to especially recognize congressional staff from both D.C. and Alaska, Samuel Harasaka from Representative Peltola's office, and Greg Kaplan for Senator Mikowski's office. The signing of the PPA is a major milestone in the federal process for the partnership between the City of Nome, represented by Mayor John Hanlon, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, represented by Colonel Jeffrey Palazzini, Commander. This document emphasizes the important work accomplished so far and the great efforts soon to come. With this signed agreement, the City of Nome and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are now authorized to work together on the next steps of implementing construction of this project. The planned general navigational features of this project have an estimated cost of $548 million, and this is the largest Alaska District Civil Works project to date. The construction of the Port of No Modifications project represents the Corps' commitment to Alaska's communities and their water resource challenges. In the first several weeks of command, Colonel Palazzini was on the ground in Nome and has returned several times over the last few months with representatives from the White House. Secretary of the Army and the Pacific Ocean Division. I invite Colonel Palazzini to the podium. Thanks, Chief. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, distinguished visitors and honored guests, we are here to celebrate the ceremonial signing of the Project Partnership Agreement for the Port of Nome Modification Project, which represents the official beginning toward implementing construction efforts. This agreement legally binds the government and our sponsors in the construction of this critical project and documents our commitment to executing it. Today's ceremony would not be possible without each stakeholder's hard work from the development of the feasibility study to the design agreement to the plan of cooperation and so much more. Together, we continue to build upon the legacy of the Port of Nome and the broader community. The original harbor in Nome was constructed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in 1917, and that even precedes the creation of the Alaska District. Uh, we have been here from the start, and we are committed to constructing navigation improvements that are built to last. As sea ice recedes and shipping traffic increases in the Arctic, Nome finds itself at the center of an evolving world. A more efficient transportation hub in the form of this port expansion will create opportunities to improve housing, food security, and infrastructure by reinforcing the region's supply chains, which will then enable an influx of important goods and lower prices for consumers across western Alaska's communities. The new deep draft port at Nome is a $548 million project. This is the federal portion, the federal project portion, funded by the bipartisan infrastructure law. It will provide larger vessels with improved access to the existing harbor by enlarging the outer basin and creating a new deep water basin at a depth of 40 feet. Currently, ship, ship transportation is limited by existing depths in the outer basin of 22 feet. The new construction will also extend the west causeway by over 3,400 feet and construct a new east causeway aligned with F Street. We will also create 2,000 feet of usable dock moorage area as well as a series of 400 foot docks attached to the causeways. We will take measures to execute the beneficial relocation and reuse of dredge material. In addition, the proposed new east causeway will include a breach and bridge to allow for nearshore fish passage. We stand committed to protecting cultural and environmental resources in close coordination with our partners. We anticipate awarding the first construction contract in the next few months, and we look forward to building the project over the next several years. We would not be here today without the leaders who have been instrumental in moving this project forward. Senator Murkowski, Senator Sullivan, and Representative Peltola have made critical contributions to the Port of No Modification Project, specifically increasing the federal cost share to 90%, made this project truly a reality. Thank you for helping the helping to pave the way for this important work. We, the Corps, take great pride in our partnerships with the City of Nome, the State of Alaska, Alaska's Congressional Delegation, our federal partners, and the contractors with whom we will execute this work. In addition, we are dedicated to meeting our federal trust responsibilities 
with the Nome Eskimo community, Village of Solomon, Native Village of Council, King Island Native community, and the Kawara community. We are already doing great work with you in the creation of the subsistence working group to help enable those who rely on the, na on the region's natural resources. Our collaboration will be an important key to success during the construction of this project. In closing, I believe that today we are not only celebrating the start of a port modification, but also recognizing a regional and national milestone. As the need for economic stability and national security in the Arctic grows ever more important, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Alaska District stands with Alaskan communities and the broader American nation as we engineer solutions to our nation's toughest challenges in the far north. Thank you and essay on. Over to you, Jason. Thank you, Colonel Palazzini. As just mentioned, this project is truly a partnership and collaboration. To succeed, the Corps is reliant on its partner, the City of Nome. I invite Mayor Hanlon to the podium. Thank you very much, Jason. Uh, Colonel Palazzini, it's good to have you back in Nome uh, for probably the fourth time, I think, That's right, man, already sir. in your uh, short tenure, and uh, we uh, appreciate your uh, 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 friendship uh, on uh, number one on it, but uh, all the uh, good things that you and your people uh, do for the community. Um, it's a uh, great honor to be here today with Colonel Palazzini, the commander of the U.S. Car Car U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Alaska District at J. Bear to execute this project partnership agreement between the city and the Corps for the construction of the Arctic Deep Draft Port here in Nome. Not only is this of great significance to our community and the region and the state of Alaska, it is a historic moment for America. The nation has long needed a deep water port to allow resupply and refueling services to the country's national uh, security fleet operating in the Arctic, an area of the globe in which all eyes are focusing and is rapidly changing. Additionally, the expanded port will enhance support in the transportation of critical goods and fuel throughout the region, and concurrently it will enhance the ability to protect marine environment, which is vitally important to our subsistence hunters and fishers, as well as the commercial fisheries operating out of Nome. City of Nome and the Corps of Engineers have been engaged in beneficial partnerships in the past, as the Colonel um, uh, mentioned in his uh, comments. Uh, this project is another step in fostering and submitting, uh, cementing this ongoing and valuable relationship. When you stop and think, a project of this magnitude is pretty mind-blowing and wasn't being pursued on a whim. While there are those who cannot yet fathom the benefits it will bring, I am confident they will far outweigh uh, the planning and projections that have gone into the project. While the Colonel has confirmed the broad-based direct involvement and support for this historic project that moves the gateway to the Arctic to our doorstep, I would be remiss in not also taking the time to acknowledge and offer direct thanks. Uh, first, to our congressional delegation, uh, Senator Lisa Murkowski, Senator Dan Sullivan, Representative Mary Peltola, and we thank them for sending representatives to be here in Nome uh, for this uh, event. And uh, also, um, we need to acknowledge uh, the late Congressman Don Young, who uh, was on uh, this project uh, in his gruff sort of way um, from uh, the very beginning. Um, I want to also uh, then acknowledge um, the support that we got directly from the White House in this and through the Office of Management and Budget. Um, you know, Congress can appropriate money, uh, but you need to get it through that OMB uh, office there in the White House. And uh, they were right on it and, and moved uh, funding out um, in a expeditious um, manner. Uh, to our state par partners, uh, Governor Dunleavy, uh, Dun Governor Dunleavy has been a great um, uh, and is a great friend of Nome in our area 
and um, is uh, very encouraging uh, to us as we uh, not just take this project, but other future development that will uh, endure as a result. And uh, so we certainly appreciate the governor's um, um, uh, support um, in so many ways. Uh, Representative Neil Foster and Senator Donnie Olson. Um, now the uh, Colonel mentioned that this was one of the biggest projects, um, uh, dollar projects that the Corps has taken uh, on in this area. Well, I believe that the appropriation that we got from the state of Alaska legislature for this was, was if not the largest, it is right there at the top one or two of um, uh, direct capital appropriations that have ever been given to a public works project that wasn't just a match to federal funding um, uh, you know, through the airport or other um, uh, improvement projects. Uh, so uh, that says a lot for what our legislature, the entire legislature, um, thinks about this project. Um, it uh, definitely, once it finally got to the floor, um, had um, very wide support. And certainly um, there was, uh, you know, in the uh, um, uh, legislative process in so there's always some gives and takes. I know that we were all glued to the televisions here for gavel to gavel as this was moving through various committees and uh, it's in, it's out, maybe, uh, you know, not the right number, uh, but uh, uh, Representative Foster and Senator Olson, uh, they were uh, simply not going to take no for an answer. And uh, Donnie and Neil, we appreciate um, your efforts. Uh, the city also has a, a, a couple of paid um, advocates or lobbyists in parentheses um, and Jay Stern, our um, guy in D.C. and Wendy Chamberlain in uh, Juneau, um, they, they um, are our eyes and ears on the, uh, in, the, uh, in, in the real uh, places where this stuff is happening, uh, keeping track of how it's going, uh, alerting us to any um, uh, you know, trips or contacts that we need to make, and certainly we owe uh, Jay and Wendy a big um, uh, support as well. Uh, the Army Corps of Engineers, uh, from the Alaska Command to headquarters in Hawaii to the national office, um, this uh, uh, project uh, has been uh, up the chain and down and back up a couple of times uh, to uh, get it right in the Corps' processes. And um, it, uh, we were um, pleased to have um, uh, uh, representatives from Washington, D.C., from the Corps actually coming as well to Nome to um, uh, uh, see the project uh, location firsthand and to express their uh, support. Um, I do want to thank uh, Colonel uh, Damon De La Rosa, um, who was Colonel Palazzini's um, predecessor at the Alaska Command. Um, Colonel De La Rosa uh, also um, was very instrumental in this project, and I kind of, I'm not a football player or any of that stuff, but I think Colonel De La Rosa got the ball kind of down the field a little bit, and Colonel Palazzini took it to the goal line. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Uh, also then, um, the uh, various people that we have worked with at the Corps um, over time on the Jason Garrett right here, the project manager, that uh, um, we didn't um, make him lose all of his hair, but Joy certainly has made him lose part of it, I am sure. <laughs> but uh, uh, Jathan has, uh, has been on this uh, for a long time, as well as Randy Bowker, uh, Valerie Palmer, uh, Bruce Sexauer, uh, Steve Howard, and then uh, just a whole host of engineering, design, construction, and contracting personnel. Um, in, uh, in the core uh, organization. And saving the best for last, uh, and the biggest thanks, uh, that goes to the community of Nome, uh, to our organized uh, corporations and tribes, and I want to thank uh, Chairman um, Roy Ashenfelter from Bering Strait Native Corporation for being here today. Um, Bering Strait uh, uh, is poised to be a very large um, uh, participant in this project, and uh, uh, it will be good not just for Nome, but for the region. Um, I want to thank our uh, Nome Common Council, um, both uh, current members, and thank Scott Henderson and Mark Johnson for joining us today. Uh, but there are several um, past uh, 
councils that have been involved in this over the many years, and um, uh, it, uh, uh, their um, uh, support um, and advocacy certainly um, has moved this forward. Uh, we have a couple of port commissions, um, uh, or a couple of commissions in the community. Um, uh, Planning Commission, uh, appreciate their input on this, but certainly to our port commission. And uh, we have a couple of port commissioners are here, Chairman West, um, uh, Drew um, McCann, thank you, <laughs> uh, Shane Smith-Heisler. And um, so uh, they have been uh, watching this thing too from the beginning. I uh, want to acknowledge the efforts of former Mayor Denise Michaels uh, and uh, the late Richard Benville. Um, the, uh, uh, while the, uh, uh, the council provides the money and provides the direction that uh, it's left to the puppets to um, uh, push, the, push the project and, and the agenda, and uh, 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 we, we know Richard was theatrical, so that's why I chose that particular word. <laughs> But uh, uh, certainly uh, uh, credit to Richard for that and, and to De uh, Denise as well. Um, Charlie Lean is not here today, but uh, he's a member of the Port Commission. And as we have um, had this project move forward, the things have, uh, there's been more interest um, uh, in this project. And uh, not just uh, Charlie, but Jim too, and, uh, and others as we've had delegations that have come in here, um, we've needed to uh, rely on them to um, help uh, tell the story and um, um, uh, introduce our visitors to the community of Nome. Our city manager, Glenn Steckman, for um, the, all of his work on this, and uh, Glenn's often uh, very quiet um, uh, in, the, in the forefront, but uh, he's very involved in the background, and um, it uh, uh, is a uh, is, is another um, one of one of the many things that he needs to juggle and uh, and to move forward. Uh, our port and harbor staff uh, want to mention them. Lucas, our uh, our um, um, harbor master, uh, on the thing, uh, but especially we need to acknowledge Joy Baker sitting up here, and I'm glad this worked out in a timing when she could actually be in the room um, for this historic event. Uh, Joy was our port director for the longest time uh, during the design and continues as a project manager as we move uh, into construction. So with that, again, I want to thank you all for coming today uh, for this, uh, now upward and onward, and we're looking forward to the first rock being placed in the channel. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Hanlon. As has been mentioned, none of this would have been possible without help from the Alaska Congressional Delegation. Senator Sullivan, Senator Murkowski, and Representative Potola each made significant contributions and continue to support this project. I invite Greg Kaplan, Military and Veterans Liaison from Senator Murkowski's office to the podium. Mayor Hanlon. Uh, Colonel Palazzini, everyone here, thank you for allowing me to say a few words on Senator Murkowski's behalf on this historic day. <clears throat> when online, this project will be trans transformational to Nome and Western Alaska, bringing increased vessel traffic both commercial and for national security purposes, including cruise ships that will bring millions of dollars every year into Nome, as well as cargo ships and military vessels to increase the U.S. presence in the, in the Arctic. Senator Murkowski has fought for over a decade to bring the first U.S. deep water port for the Arctic to Nome and was successful in negotiating $250 million for the, for the bipartisan infrastructure legislation that made this project possible. Senator Murkowski said today, the agreement is a significant milestone for the Port of Nome and it brings us one step closer to a deep water port in the Arctic that provides for trade, commerce, tourism, and national security. As a result of the bipartisan infrastructure laws, investment of $250 million, and now the signing of this agreement, the first phase of the Port of Nome's construction can begin. I look forward to that and urge the President to request all remaining construction funds needed to complete this pivotal project 
in his upcoming FY25 budget. Senator Murkowski wants to thank everyone here for the partnership and hard work that made today, to made today possible and is excited to see the finished product, project and the increased benefits it will bring to Nome and Western Alaska. Thank you all. Thank you, Greg. The Port of No Modification Project has been a focal point of the Alaska District Civil Works Branch for nearly a decade at this point. We are very pleased to join with each of you in celebrating this important milestone for the project. And now invite Mayor Hamlin and Colonel Palazzini to sign the Port of No Modifications Alaska Project Partnership Agreement. It's that time. If you'd like to come up and take pictures, it would be appropriate. Just, just, just the water bottles on the way. Yes. Water bottles. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Yeah, Thank you so much.